Hello, I'm Dave Scriven with 423 Communities. I'd like to take you on a journey back to when I was about 10 years old. As you can tell by my white hair, that was a few decades ago. As a kid, I found a Playboy magazine, a pornographic magazine hidden under the t-shirts of my dad's closet. My mom and dad would leave for the evening and I'd make a beeline to that Playboy magazine. That experience launched me in a, to an addictive lifestyle of sexual misbehavior that went on for the next 35 years. In my mid forties, I'd had enough. I'd lost my marriage. I'd lost my ministry as a Presbyterian pastor. I lost my sense of self and my direction in life. I needed help badly. I found that help in a program called FMO or four men only founded by Dr. Ted Roberts with Pure Desire. This was an incredible experience for me, and I learned two very important principles. These two principles are foundational to everything we do in 423 communities. One, I could stop bad sexual behavior, and so can you. I'd come to believe that I would never stop, and that's because every time I tried, I failed. There's a simple reason for that. That is, I was trying to stop all by myself. I couldn't do it. I made promises to God I could never keep. Like, I'll never, 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 never do that again. What did I do? <laughs> I always did that again. And that's because for years, I had trained myself to go to sex, bad sex, masturbation, pornography, chasing women, lustful mental images, all of that seemed to take away the pain of my emotional problems. I couldn't stop. When I got into recovery, I found out I wasn't alone. There were other men who experienced exactly the same thing as me and together we could help each other. So I could stop. I just couldn't do it alone. I needed my brothers in recovery. The second thing I learned, and this is foundational to everything else we do in 423 communities, and that is that my bad sexual behavior was not about sex. That was a revelation to me, to learn that my negative underlying emotions, my stressors, my childhood traumas, my conflicts with people, all of these contributed to my desire to medicate. And I used sex as a distraction or a medicating device to keep from feeling the pain of those bad experiences in my history. So I found out in recovery that I could get better, but it wasn't just about white knuckling it and trying harder to stop thinking about sex. That wasn't gonna work. I tried that too many times. I knew that wouldn't work. Rather, I had to figure out why I did what I did. And I began to learn that they were related to my underlying negative emotions. As I began to deal with my real issues in life, I found that I got better. And I stopped wanting to use sex as a tool to keep from feeling pain. So those are the two principles that 423 Communities is based upon. One, I can stop bad sexual behavior. I just can't do it alone. I need my brothers in recovery to help me. And two, my bad sexual behavior was not all about sex. It had much more to do with the negative underlying emotions that I had to deal with. I frankly had to grow up and stop using sex as a way to quit feeling the pain of my brokenness. I had to accept my brokenness, the darkness. I had to embrace it and I had to learn how to become fully human without the use of my drug of choice which for me was bad sex and pornography. I've written a book about the subject and I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you will be too. I'd love to share it with you. It's called The Pursuit of Pornea. It's a review of the culture of sexual addiction and a biblical pathway to recovery. You can find this book on our site, 423communities.org. Just take a check, check out the link below and Thanks for listening. 
I really appreciate it. Remember, there is hope.